evaluated early next year. South Australian scientists are looking to an unlikely source in the hope of boosting the state's aquaculture industry. They're hoping to break into the lucrative Asian market for sea cucumbers. When you first see a live sea cucumber, appetising probably isn't the first word that comes to mind. But in China, sea cucumbers are an expensive and highly sought after delicacy, sold for up to $200 a kilogram. They're just everywhere. They're in the supermarkets. They have high-end uh, uh, stores just selling, selling sea cucumbers. And the Chinese, they just love sea cucumbers. Professor Mayer was part of a recent state government trip to China where he saw firsthand enormous sea cucumber farms. The scale of those farms is phenomenal and the industry in China is, is absolutely huge and we were told it's worth the equivalent of about five billion Australian dollars. And now attention is turning to whether South Australian sea cucumbers could form a part of that lucrative industry. Australia sea cucumber does has, uh, do have uh, a very unique properties and also have a much better value and the, for the future development. Professor Zhang and his team are investigating the compounds inside local sea cucumber species, particularly the cucumber's main active ingredient called saponins. Which uh, have many applications in pharmaceutical industry and also the cosmetics even and also the functional food and the nutraceutical products. While sea cucumbers are hugely popular in Asian countries, they're very rare here in Adelaide. Some restaurants do serve it, but the dish costs upwards of $150. One chef told me he needs a week's notice to import the cucumber from Melbourne and spend four days preparing it. The researchers will consider whether a South Australian sea cucumber industry could be modelled on the one in the Northern Territory, where tropical cucumbers are already exported to China.